everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is all about organization, one of my favorite things in life. So today we are going to take a look into how I go about organizing all of my clay. I now have a ton of it and finally I feel good about where I'm at. I don't think I need to go to Hobby Lobby every day now. That's not a promise. I do have enough now that I feel pretty good. So I do want to show you guys how I organize it. I've got bins and containers and all that good stuff. So let's dive right into the organization. today with my sister Emily. She's going to be uh, tallying up all the different clay colors I have and I just want to know like how many I have of each color just so I'm better organized which if you know me love to organize so happy to be doing this. Um, what made me want to do this is I got a huge um, order of clay recently right all right here so I thought I would go through all that I have and just make a little nice checklist so we're just gonna Go through all my colors and see what I've got in stock. I won't say goodbye yet. Can I change your mind? I don't think we're finished until I cross the line. Cause I can't let you go. I want you to know that I will. I've got all of my unopened clay laying in front of me right now, color coded and I'm able to see everything that I do have right now. I do wanna mention that this is clay that I've accumulated over a long period of time. Some of it is from the last few months of this pandemic. There's been a shortage of clay. So grabbing what you see has been a must because you might not know if it's gonna be there the next day. So this is what I've got. No, 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 no. And I did get a lot of this recently because there were some colors that I really did need. Sculpey.com was restocked, so I had to jump on it. Uh, certain colors that are popular, I had to have. So this actually isn't all of it. I do have open clay and scrap clay stored away too. So I also want to mention that this alone shows that I'm everything that I make, I'm pouring right back into my business. So I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support. So this right here is because of you guys. All right, so it is time to organize. Push up my sleeves, let's do this. I. I have a few containers and bins that I use. Um, I wish I had a tower that I could just dedicate solely to clay, but right now this is what works for me. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do it by color, of course. So we're just gonna dive right in and get to organizing. darker colors and more neutrals. I think I'm going to go back up and pick one of each clay color so I do have a bin that's just of everything that I do have. So I'm going to do that now. Pinks. 
one last grouping here, the oranges, yellows, and some greens. So I do have these little bins from Target. We'll see how much I can fit in these. I'm probably gonna have to use some of my cardboard boxes from some of my packages that came in. So I may have to go to Target and get even more bins, but let's just see what we can fit in here for now. taking out some of the colors to keep in a separate bin of all the ones that I do have. This one worked out perfect. So I'm going to organize all the ones that I'll be grabbing from when I am making. So these will all be just kept away in storage. So when I do run out of the ones that I have here, I'll grab from those. So laying out here, I have about one or two of each color that I use, so I do have two extra bins left over that's going to work out, um, so let's get those filed away. Oh my gosh, does it get any more satisfying than this? I had the perfect amount for this. Living for it. So here's a look at all the bins organized. I did grab some of my green to put it in here to fill this out, balance it out and look all even and pretty. So this really works well for me right now, just having all these bins. And it gives me an excuse to buy little bins and containers from the Dollar Spot or Dollar Tree, which I love checking out. So that's how that looks. So now is the less satisfying part. All of the opened clay and scraps I've got to organize in these little bins by color. So it's not as satisfying as seeing all those new fresh blocks organized in their containers, but it's got to be done. So let's go. Bye. coordinated got my scraps here I'm probably gonna add a little bit more um, scrap clay to this but this is what the open clay looks like not as satisfying but it's got to be stored somewhere all right so this mess is all my open clay I had this just in a box while I was figuring out where everything else is gonna go Whew. so for this I'm thinking I'm just going to have to make it as organized as possible in a shipping box that I got that was filled with um, my clay order. So this isn't really ideal for me, it kind of bothers me actually, but um, I'm probably going to have to think of a better idea later. But for now and for this video, I'm just going to put it in here nicely, as nicely as I can. right now this open clay situation is really bothering me um, as you can clearly, clearly see from before that I love to organize and I pride myself on it but this is just not working out for me so I'm probably going to have to buy maybe another one of these which is from Michaels so Yeah, this is killing me. So uh, this is probably gonna look like that. So don't think that this is gonna be all janky like this. <laughs> so um, the last bit we have to do is, um, I kinda want to organize my scrap clay a little bit. Um, this may look like a lot of waste and like, oh my gosh, like that's a lot of clay that's just crumbled up. But I do grab from this from time to time. Um, it's good for, Kind of good for like testing ideas too. 
Um, I use it for just little bits of like terrazzo, like if I'm taking out those little pieces and placing them on the clay. Um, just kind of getting a feel for what colors I want to work with. But I do want to possibly make a video where I take some of this scrap clay, mix them together and see what comes out of that. Um, it's usually a surprise when you go about doing that. So stay tuned for a possible vlog of that. So right now I'm going to lay all of this out in front of me on parchment paper and I'm going to lay it all out color by color and then put it back in so it looks a little bit nicer. Wow, so this is all my scrap clay that typically I, like I mentioned before, I use it for maybe testing things, uh, just grabbing a random color that I do have and adding it as a terrazzo element. And I also, um, I find it that it's uh, nice to take these patterns and different colors, mix them up and make um, my stud packs too. And I do want to mention that, you know, like for example, you've got this, you've got like different like colors in there mixed in, but when I do use this uh, scrap clay, everything's gonna look just as perfect and clean as any of my other products. So I try to not have too much waste. So everything you see here will most likely be incorporated. It's just been a lot of buildup of just all my scrap clay and what I put to the side after cutting things out. So I'm excited to see what maybe some of this will turn into, so stay tuned. So I've been wanting to reorganize all of this scrap clay for a while now, so I kind of cleaned out my containers just a little bit. So I'm gonna organize things by color and then like mixed up pattern stuff and maybe a separate one. So let's get this all nice and organized as possible. And there you have it. All of my clay is organized. My soul is cleansed. Feeling good about it. Except for this little guy right here full of all my open clay. But we made it work. This is how I go about organizing it, um, containers, bins, all that good stuff. If you're a polymer clay maker and you have some storage and organization ideas, please let me know. I'd love to hear them. I'm always open to new organization tips. So that is how I went about organizing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and maybe got some ideas or just was satisfying to watch organizing because I know I love watching it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Your girl couldn't help herself. Went to Hobby Lobby, got myself another organizer. Oops.